Hey there, Mr. Like, and welcome to Moth House. This game caught my eye, first of all, because there's moths in it, and I actually think those are pretty cool bugs. Wouldn't want them in your house, though, because I just recently learned that moths can infest your clothes. So there's a bit of knowledge that you might or might not have known. Secondly, this game classifies itself as a horror collectible game, which I don't know how that would play out. I don't know if it's just going to put me into the game and it's going to be like, Welcome to the Moth House. I've hidden 200 useless collectibles around the place and I hope you have fun finding them. Or if it's just going to like slap me in the face with some cool item. But I'm pretty excited to see. Ah yes, the moth envelope. Made of cloth, infested with moth. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am infested with moths or crawling everywhere. I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I still have a request to you. In the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then let them out of the house. It's all better if you free them all. With all my love, you're dead. I almost didn't read that because of the giant press space to continue blocking it. Oh wow, this is cool already. I don't need to go back. I need to catch moths. Maybe there's some in this clothing right here. Maybe there's some in any form of cloth. So I may think moths are cool, but uh, I am still very freaked out by bugs. So I don't know how I'm going to do with this. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, uh, that was not a bug. That was a rat. Uh, that wasn't even supposed to be scary, I bet. Press control to sneak. There's no moths yet. You're just... <laughs> Scared of nothing. Scared of little rats. You haven't even gotten to the meat of it. Oh, are these the moths? Oh, they're investing my clothing just for me standing in here. How could this be? Oh, what unique painting. So, unique and moth-like. Use a mouse wheel to change the item. Oh. Perhaps I can swipey swipe at this moth. Use tab to open backpack. Did I catch them? Oh, American Dagger Moth and Leopard Moths. You can hardly see the Leopard Moths. They're like camouflaged on the paper. So I, I assume that I caught all that I can from... No, I'm still catching. Alright. There are three endings to this game, so I would assume just doing the bare minimum would be ending number one. Ending number two would be catching every single- oh my god, that's huge. I, you know, I think moths are cool. If I found one that big in my house, I'm burning the place to the ground. But yeah, I assume letting every single moth outside of the house would be ending two. I have no clue what ending three could be. Oh, cool. How many matches do I have? Is there any way for me to tell that? Probably gonna be some gargantuan moth that's gonna come out and kill my whole family when I least expect it. In fact, it probably already did. What? What? Why is there. What? That was a lot of creepy crawly. There's no way that one moth could have made that sound. Anyways, let's see what I got. That is a lot of moths. 67 American dagger moths. Ah, oh, the big one was a. Pisseropia moth? That was said so wrong. Well, some of these moths don't even look like moths, and I can't even pronounce them, but that, that one in the bottom left, that one looks more like a, a cricket than a moth. Oh god, you know, actually... I... Mm, the unique paintings in here don't make me feel better, actually. Am I, am I gonna find ghosts now? Ghost moths? Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with the average value of around 30 to 60 kilohertz. 
The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called the symbols. Timbles? Tumbleweed. Interestingly, there are devices called bait detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. So I'm becoming a bat. Is that what I'm understanding? So a moth will be nearby when it's at 30? Is that? Wow. Okay. There's a moth somewhere. <laughs> I hate the crawling sounds. I can, I can guarantee that. Okay, that one's locked. There's probably some sort of gigantic moth behind that door. I don't want to say it, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. You can hear him behind the door. Press F to light and put out a match. Okay, why would I need to? Are some of these moths afraid of light? Oh, cool. Look at all these moths. Oh, I hate it, actually. Cool, cool to look at from a distance. Oh, whoa, it's a duck. Anatodophobia is what I have now. I wonder if this duck relates to any of these moths in the room. I think that was that cool moth that I just picked up. That I just swooped off the wall. All this moth catching is making my skin crawl. Yeah, still missing some moths. I think that's all of them. Let me pull out my monitor. Yeah, that was all the moths. See if I actually got it. No, nope, I didn't get any of the ones on the bottom left. What did I get then? Oh, I got the Luna moths. That's what I thought it was. How do they get bigger the further you go down? That's my question. Because some of those moths are huge. I agree. With the TV. Oh, is that a moth? Wah! Nope. Not a moth. Oh, but these are. Is that a moth? That's a trash bag. Why would that... A crowbar? <laughs> yeah, I'll need that. No recipes. No recipes, including moth. Also, I, I very much hope that... Did, did my dad say this was his home? Because this is awful. I don't even think moth infested clothing is the most of his worries. I think it's just a moth infested house. You know, looking down this dark hallway doesn't make me feel very good, I can say that. And there's... Like, you can... The crawling. The crawling is so awful. <laughs> I like, you know, I started off this video, I was like, you know, moths are pretty cool, and then I'm over here freaking out about every single crawl and moth in the area. Okay, down the hall I go. Need a key. Got it. So I won't go down that way. Let me shut that. Wouldn't want any giant moths coming this way. That's a giant moth. Although that's just a painting. I think. Hopefully. Ooh, I caught... Oh! So the things in the bathroom were the things in the bottom left that I said looked more like crickets. Also, 112 American Dagger Moths. Am I putting all of these in that one sack that I have right there? I would assume that's a sack. That must be awful for the moths. All bunched up together. All, th like, 300 of them. Oh, that, ooh, I hate that. When I'm not paying attention to my match, it just goes out. Now, oh God, now I'm hallucinating in real life. I thought I just saw a moth fly past my eyeballs. I hope I didn't see a moth fly past my eyeballs. That might mean the game's coming to get me in real life. Oh, yeah. Probably this place, if I had to guess. I forgot about that crowbar that I picked up. Okay. Net ready. Alright, okay. That's a bad sign. Turns out the moth has learned how to move furniture. The moths. Plural moth. 
God, this house is awful. I mean, great for the moths, you know. I hate hearing about all those homeless moths on the news. It's great to see that they finally found a home, but all of them in one in one place. I mean, they probably have no problems paying rent. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Okay, that's cool. Um. Yeah. Alright. Maybe that was uh, the third ending, you know, that I was talking about. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I'm alright with the moths. I do, in fact, want to be in here right now. Maybe if I just don't move ever, you know, they'll just let me go home free. I still have all those moths that I collected. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't want to leave this place. If I just sit here politely and, you know, pass away, I'd, that'd be great for me. I've got no problem with that. I mean, I, if I still have that crowbar, I'll take myself out right now. I don't need to die by moth. Moth hand. I'll just be freaky. Oh my god, this is the same door, isn't it? It is. No wonder there was so much reading of moth over here. It's because it's a basement. Filled with moth. I think I'm going crazy. I've been in this basement for 15 years collecting moth. So much moth to collect. So little time. So little matches. Except I have a lot of matches. Apparently I got a sponsorship with matches. Because I have an endless supply of them. Do match... Do match companies actually sponsor people? To like... Promote their matches? Because I don't know how you'd promote that. Like, hey, look at this big Bernie stick that I have. It's got a little bit of medicine on the tip that makes it catch fire. It's crazy. Yep, that's my matchstick review. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't go like that. You know, mine was probably unenthusiastic. And, uh, you know, it'd probably be like, whoa, oh my god, look at these matches. Set your house on fire. Set my house on fire. Honestly, if I would ever be sponsored by a match company, I think I would accept, just because it's such a, such a strange offer. Like, even, even if I didn't do YouTube, if they just, like, they sponsored me to go do something, like, I don't know, sing at a, sing at a talent show, go to a beauty pageant, sponsor matches, I'd do it. Because, like, who gets sponsored by matches? I would, if that ever happened. Oh my god, that thing moves. I don't know why I didn't notice that before, but that's... Is that a person? Is that a maggot? Did that come from me? Sure hope it didn't. Because that's kind of gross. Can't catch it, that's a thing. That moth isn't still down here, right? It definitely is. Wait, that was just a bunch of small moths. Not the big one. The big one somewhere down here, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Okay. Okay. Well, I honestly, I've had my fair share of moths, so I think I'm just gonna sit this one out. Just gonna not do that. So, pro strat, sprint down the hallway, start scooping up, you know, scoop, scoop, scoop. When's he gonna come out? I know he's coming. I know he's gonna come out. You know, you'd think for someone who's played probably over a hundred indie horror games at this point that I'd be more brave, but nope, that is definitely not the case. And yet I find myself here again, not even being able to catch a single moth. Well, you know, this game's great. This game's honestly amazing. Let me just walk in my circle of power and justice, make sure that I can withstand anything that comes in my way. Alright, here I go. Again. Better not come out now that I've actually decided to come out here and grab this stuff. He's coming. He's coming from somewhere. I hear him. Cool. 
think a little bit of my country accent came out there. I went, I hear them, you know. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, coming back. Going back. Okay, just when I brought up the courage. And he decides to come on in. Cool, okay. Oh, God, no. Don't have it be another basement. Oh, no, not another basement. <laughs> Alright, okay, you know, I'm going back up. Doesn't matter to me, I'm, I'm gonna go this way. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm, go I'm going this way. I'm turning around, crouching under this desk, and you cannot stop me. Oh. Cool. Okay. Uh, successfully avoided that with all my successful moth avoiding skills. Don't exactly know how I'm going to do that again. No recipe. I can cook this one. I have a pot now. Do I just, like, put it somewhere? Okay. That's cool. Oh, I didn't even read these. The Luna Moth is a species of moth found in North America. It is known for its striking appearance with large pale green wings that have a distinctive shape and pattern. The wingspan of the Luna Moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths in North America. The caterpillars of the species is also quite striking with their bright green bodies and long spiny tails. The Luna Moth is primarily active at night and feeds on nectar of flowers. Well, there's something about this game that genuinely terrifies me, and if I had to guess what that something is, it's probably all of the moths. And probably this dark atmosphere and this match that keeps going out every minute. But it's pretty late at night for me right now, so I'm gonna stop this here and continue tomorrow morning. And see if I'm more fearless than I am right now, because I am terrified. So, after having a full night to think about this, I think I'm just gonna go in guns blazing. Because I, I learned yesterday that the moth doesn't actually like necessarily follow you in rooms like when i sit in when i sat in this room he did not come after me meaning he doesn't know where you are it's only when you make it obvious that you're there that he'll come at you hi paul turns out that the little has many abilities besides speaking human language what you mean the big moth down the hall they are capable of, blah, 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 so I have to report that I'm going to, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure if I'll be back from there, but in the name of science, I have to check it out. Blah, 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 blah. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I am away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths just in case. I'll block the entrance. If something happens, then uh, blah, I can only assume... This is my dad, and he's very dead now, thanks to moths. So anyways, I was thinking about it. Uh, this is my third time trying to say this. But I was thinking about it last night. I was thinking, what makes this game so much scarier to me than, say, like a game about someone breaking into a house? And I'd probably... <laughs> hey, buddy, that's cool. I really enjoyed that. But yeah, what makes this game scarier to me than, say, a game about someone breaking into your house? Because, I mean, in a situation, if you were stuck in a house with a moth that, like, puts you in a cocoon every so often, or an actual person in your house, in real life, the person in your house would be much scarier. So why is this game scarier to me than, say, that? And I think the reason for that is... My extreme fear of bugs. Because I might or might not have said this before, but I have a massive fear of basically all bugs. Like, when they're when I'm outside, it's mostly fine. It's not like I'm going to cry because there's a ladybug in the vicinity. Oh, hey, it's the moth. So of course I get creeped out by bugs outside the house. But, like, if it's far away, it's not like I'm really going to care. Okay. 
In a truly astonishing discovery, Madison Hart, the well-known moth collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak human language. Mr. Hart, who has been collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on a collecting trip in the Amazon rainforest. The moth, which has a unique wing pattern and body structure, was observed by Mr. Hart communicating in English. This incredible discovery has sent shockwaves to the scientific community and has opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart has named the new species Lingua Moth and has pledged to continue studying and protecting this remarkable insect. Cool. Very awesome. I don't think that moth really protected him all that much. But, you know moth the moth the moth okay cool going upstairs on the move but like this game well i mean it's not really as terrifying now i've had a whole day to sit down and think about it but why was it so scary and i i would say because you wouldn't really think that a fear of bugs would completely translate into a game and for the most part it doesn't because say for like Grounded, if you've ever played Grounded, it's a survival game where you're very small in your front yard and there are giant bugs everywhere. I'm sure most people, when they first played it, were very creeped out by the giant spider. Which side? Where is he coming from? Is he down here? Oh, no, he's behind me. That's cool. But the average player, when they first start Grounded, was probably very scared to be around like a giant spider. Not only because of fear of spiders is pretty common, but because it was a giant spider, really freaky to look at. But after a while, the spiders become not scary at all. And I would assume that's because after a while, you have good armor, you have a really strong weapon, probably. And overall, you can just take on a spider without actually having to do much. Like, a spider, after a while, doesn't really stand a chance against... Well, last time I played, the strongest weapon was the mint mallet. I don't know what it would be now. But in this game, you don't have that. You just have a net and a match. You can catch the smaller moth, sure, but the giant one, you have no defense against. At all. So that's my thought on why I find this game scary. Nope, turning around. But it's because I can't actually fight back against the thing chasing me, which is the moth. For the most part, it's just a giant bug that can kill me. What if I try this? What if I click on it? Nope, didn't work. Okay. I remember I cooked something, which I just pulled out there. Don't know what the point of it was. Seems kind of useless to me. Ooh, note. Or recipe, I guess. Not note. What if I try... Using this on the f moths. Uh, that's 70. There you go. Just for you guys. No? Okay. The problem about this being a horror collectible game is there's so many moths to collect and I th really hate it. Hate collectibles. Wait a minute. Nope. You're somewhere. He's down here. With me. Right, he's coming. Oh, no, he's, he really is coming. He's right at me. Okay, cool. I'm going to play Ring Around the Rosie with him. Or not. I guess he doesn't come back this far. See, another problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Blah, blah, got him. Okay. Another problem is I have an awful sense of telling where sound is coming from, so that probably makes this game harder if I had to guess. You think I've collected all of them at this point? I feel like I have. Ooh. Oh my god, that scared me so bad. Oh my god, oh my wrist hurts. I hit it against the desk. Oh my god. Oh hey, look, cool. More butterflies. No, I, did I... Moths. This game's been about moths. How, how did I mess that up? I've said moth probably 15,000 times and I still call them butterflies. He's... Which way is he? Is he down or up? Down or up? He's down. He's down. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Time to run through this place very happily. Happily. So if I hear him, he's always coming from that direction. Oh my god, I found the key. Just gotta run to the house. Not get killed by a moth. Okay, cool. Now I can open that door that required the key. What is gonna be behind it? I don't know. Probably something cool. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Why is the house shaking? Why is the house shaking? Is there a moth back here? Oh my god, there's a moth. Hi, buddy. Go get your snoot away from me. Oh, look. Look at that guy. Can I catch it? Oh. This is the language thing. Hello, human. I'm the moth, king's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the moth king is hungry. He is already tired of eating little moth flies by... He is already tired of eating little moths flying past him. Once even, he almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently, and with normal food, he needs soup, moth soup. That's what it's for. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the moth king. You mean like, this soup? Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make us more. Okay. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it better... So it's better, will you be... What? So it's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients. What? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm not gonna question how you say that. But maybe I just read it wrong. Probably not. Oh, okay. One of these take every single type of moth. Okay, do I still have the... I don't think I have the recipe anymore for the one that I did cook. No, I do. Because it was... I remember there was 40 of these, so I was like, oh, wow, 40. I'll cook this one next. This might be the third ending, actually. I don't know if there's one for each, but here you go. Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time, and two pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. I sure hope the Moth King doesn't eat me after this. I've got another pot of soup. I don't think I can make the other recipe, so... Thank you for feeding the Moth King. However, he says that your soups were terrible, <laughs> and he would have been better <laughs> off starving. Wow, okay. Harsh crowd, I guess. I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the king's orders. The Moth King says you killed moths for nothing to make these awful soups. He wants to drive you to Moth Hell. Moth Hell is a terrible place for moths, but not only moths get there, but people too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we will have to part. I'm sorry, but there's no choice, so goodbye. Alright, well, you know, it's been good, I guess. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool entrance, I guess. Moth, hell. Oh, it's so nice. Wow, that is a massive moth. Am I a moth? I'm a moth. <laughs> moth House, a game by Ken Forrest. There's still two more endings. Oh, wow. I actually collected every single moth this time. I might have done that last time as well. I think that last recipe used every single moth in it. So I probably did that. Okay, I really hate how I don't know where he is. I hear his wings flapping and I don't have any clue on where he could be. Now this time I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna try to leave. Just leave and never come back. 
He better not be down this hall. Okay, he's not down this hall, in case you were wondering. I know you're curious. He wasn't. Now, I shall just leave. Because I've collected every moth. Okay, goodbye. Ah, yes. A, a sewer grate? Paper? No. It was my jar. And now I let all the moths free. And they're probably gonna terrorize the world. Because they're probably genetically engineered or something. Alright, and the last one should be really anything, and if this doesn't work, then I can't believe the internet lied to me. Thank you so much for feeding the Moth King, he really liked your soups. See, it does work, the internet never lied. <laughs> so he has powers, and we can finally leave this old house, and find yourself another place where there's normal food. Oh, thank you, that'd be very nice. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. As he blasts me through the wall. <laughs> oh, well, I think that was the Moth King. Goodbye. And all the moths leave the house. Oh, it's so great. Hopefully not the big one. I don't want to unleash that on the people. Whoop, well, that was Moth House, a horror collectible game about moths. This game did freak me out. I probably said that many times, and you're probably tired of hearing it, but it was scary for me. For the first part, of course, when I went to sleep and then came back, which was now, it was a lot easier to go through it. And if you do play this game for yourself, don't try to collect every single moth like I did. I figured that would be an ending, because it was like, the dad was like, oh, please release every moth. So it's like, okay. Well, it definitely wasn't an ending. Because I got all three endings. Yeah, I give this game a 10 out of 10 on the moth scale. But that'll be all for now. So see ya.